as mentioned, Indonesia, who have blown us away in this tournament. They really have the leading goal scorers. Nine players then changed by Indra Shafri. And the only two that remain are Komang in defence and a little bit further forwards, Witten Suleiman. Witten scoring three goals in the last edition of this competition has started every single game so far for Indonesia. That's why everybody else has been relegated to the bench. It's a strong squad. We saw that against the Cambodian side. He has tweaked and tinkered, and it isn't his very first official starting lineup that they started with the Philippines. Players have forced their way into the starting lineup going in to this semi final. Has been cool, has been calm, been collected as well on the sidelines, and that is why he is in charge of that Indonesian side. As for Philip Trussier, he turns around, he makes six changes. Kwamri remain in goal, there's one change in the back three. Long Doi Kwan comes back in. Duk Fu comes back in, as does Tuan Tai, to give them that width in wide areas. Van Kang is out, Zuan Tien is out, so Vol Min Tron comes in, as does Tai Son, who has been fantastic throughout this tournament. But all talk and all eyes will be on number nine, Gwen Van Tung. He replaces Van Truong, but Van Tung is their main go-to guy when they go forwards, being a joint top scorer of the competition with four goals. We're in for a belt up. So it's the winners of Group A, Indonesia, taking on the runners-up of Group B, Vietnam. It's Vietnam in the white strip that get us underway. To say the pitch is looking absolutely magnificent. All those changes made by Trussier because it was only 48 hours ago that Vietnam did play against Thailand. Indonesia had an extra day's rest, but a lot of the players were rested for that last game. And strong in the challenge and the tackle, Mazahan, and who plays over in Japan, of course. Tamahan coming all the way across, he'll be the one that will launch this one in. It's a really big throw and a free header. What a finish! from the man that started every game for Indonesia, Komang Tegu. He came and arrived late on and buried that header into the corner. What a throw that is. Look at the trajectory, it's so flat, but he just strolled in there unmarked Komang and made absolutely no mistake. Dream start for Indonesia. It's his first goal of the tournament, Komang. But what a vitally important goal that could be. When Van Tong can drop in between the lines and cause all sorts of problems. Example here. Min Trong pulls it back. Van Tong with a half chance. Great run from out to in. Magas Kaffer just got caught ball watching. And it allowed Vo Min Trong to try and pull it back. How about that on the turn from the big man? Not a million miles away. Vietnam getting closer. Ball flipped back in and it's glanced up and over. And who else but the big man himself, Gwen Van Tong. He scored the opening goal of their campaign. And it was a header. And that was against Lau. He scored with another header here. What a ball whipped in. 
he gets in front of Rizkirido and just gets a faint glance on it it goes up and over Hamano Ari in goal giving him absolutely no chance game back on 100% Swaps all round though. No doubt about that as we get going for the second half. And it is the red team of Indonesia kicking from right to left. Launch right in there. The keeper's had a little bit of a flap, and now the volley back in Marcelino. Was it the last touch come off the defender Ferrari? Well, we'll have to see the replay. Marcelino just drilled it in. They've had two long throws in the game and they have scored two goals. And it is Ferrari that has scored this. There's that throw again. Poor goalkeeping to push it back into play. Marcelino drills it goal bound. And the centre back who's come on at half time to replace the other centre back. Has scored with his calf, just a faint little flick. Perfect start to the second 45 minutes then for Indonesia. Vietnam will throw absolutely everything forward, including the centre backs. Wing got Dang. He carries his run on forwards. Lee Van Dor has space in behind. Van Trong checks back. Well, Tang delivers decent ball as well. Packed into his own net though. And it's the skipper who's put it past his own keeper, Risky Rido. Trussier took the gamble, brought on Van Kang and brought on Van Truong because he knew against 10 men they can sacrifice another body to push forwards and it's paid dividends. But Tang is the man that's whacked it in and just delivered it. And actually, it's not risky at all. It's Bagas Kafa that puts the ball past his own keeper. Heartbreak for him. Put your left foot through the ball, son. He's tried to hack at it with his right. And because of that and the spin on the ball, it's come off his shin and into the back of the net. Vietnam. All square. Oh, and there's the glancing header. What a save. Van Tong thought that was in. He's got in front of his man and glanced it into that far post area. Pushed away to safety. Fernando Ari, what a save that was. Fingertips. Difficult to see if it was creeping in or not. You'll see from this sort of angle, though. Oh, it is, it's creeping in. Oh, and now, a friend just caught out of position. Five white shirts forwards. Kong Den tried to play it on, but just got dispossessed. And that's a brilliant touch. And that's very, very well played from Telfany. And now Fadja at the other end. Fadja checks back inside, waits for support. Fadja goes himself. Brilliant block. Telfany picks up the loose ball. Telfany! Can you believe it? Can you believe it? The ten men have stung Vietnam. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Three minutes left on the clock and Vietnam.